Um, what's it been like as a collective? Working as a collective is a. It's a, a, in one sense, it's, it's you know it's it's quite different from what I do in a in a day to day, a day to day basis um, with my business, which which is also in football. So you know a lot of that is I like, you know I decide what to do and then I do it. Um, and so working collectively is, is distinct from that, it's different. But then I also I also teach at UCFB up at Wembley, so I'm used to being part of a staff team, if you like. But I suppose even that's quite, um, being an academic is quite independent as well. Um, and I know that being part of a group, being part of a board, uh, of a team like that, you know, you have to rely on other people's strengths, you have to understand your own weaknesses. Um, and sometimes there are things that happen that you can't help and... Others have to pull for you and get, you know, help you get through things. Um, and I can say specifically, without a doubt, um, the boards, the board that I've been part of, which has kind of come in several iterations from my election in December 2022 for now, um, when I'm stepping down in December 2024, certainly up to this point in, in October 2024, it's been a terrific board, really good board. Um, one of, if not the best boards I've worked with, um, you know, largely I've worked with boards as an advisor to them. Um, this this board has, you know, it's just been really determined to get things done, get the right things done, to get our priorities seen through, to make sure that we did the things we were there to do, which was kind of what I said at the start, which was to make sure that we became this uh, oversight body and, and, you know, trying to define that. Um, 